Last time on Strange Days at Blake Holsey High. What is it? A power source of unlimited potential. This is what Josie Trent really wants. I can stop time. I trusted you. But don't worry. I won't make that mistake again. You took this from me a long time ago. Well, I'm taking it back. Remember last semester, when I traveled back in time, this ball came with me. When I came back, it was gone. Last night, I found out that Victor had it. Something or someone caused this. Josie. Remember me? Your clone? Time to make sure this goes back to where it belongs. Victor has it for a reason. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Once this is back where it belongs, the timeline is restored. You never know. What just happened? Vaughn. Lake Holsey High. It's not your average boarding school. Not even close. Things are a little different here. See, I've stumbled onto a mystery with my friends. I've got a cool teacher, but the principal is definitely hiding something. And this guy, Victor Pearson. Somehow he's behind all the really weird stuff that happens here. Is that floating ball of his the key to the mystery? We're getting closer, but in the meantime, these are strange days in Blake Holsey High. Josie, we gotta talk about what happened yesterday. I got a theory on what happened to the floating thingy. I have my own theory. Excuse me, Lucas. Josie. I'm surprised you have the guts to show up here today. I was thinking the same thing about you. Listen, I don't care how you took it, but my father needs the ball back. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? I think you replaced my dad's with this one. Look, if anyone should be mad at someone, it's me. Whoa, 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 don't turn this around on me. I didn't do anything to you. I'm sure not. It's the truth. We both know you were searching in my room. You saying it's the truth is just plain insulting. Wait, Joseph, I need your help. molecules have potential energy which is stored in the bonds between them. In the water in this design for a cold fusion reactor, for example, there is energy stored in the bonds between the oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms that make up each water molecule. And when they get close enough together and touch, energy is released. That is only one of the many things that is so impressive about cold fusion. If someone could actually build a cold fusion reactor, he or she could use simple tap water as the fuel to create unlimited amounts of energy, cleanly and safely. What happens to the water? As the reactor releases the potential energy from the water molecules, eventually the water would be used up. But all you'd have to do is go to the sink and turn on the tap to keep your reactor running. Excellent. But like I said, cold fusion is only hypothetical. Of course. Thank you, Corinne. Let's not forget your reports are due Thursday. Josie, you okay? What? Class is over. Oh, yeah, sure. You didn't take any notes. Notes, no, I'll make them later. When can we talk about last night? I got a couple of new theories about what happened with the Qigong. Right, uh, science is a ball, huh? Um, let's talk later. Josie, aren't you forgetting something? I don't know where my head is at. Cold fusion. Unlimited power. Maybe we don't need that ball after all, Dad. Oxygenated water? Palladium wire? 
What do you need these for? That's unimportant. Can you get the items for me or not? Yeah, sure. They're a phone call away. Good. What? There's something different about you. Please, don't take this the wrong way, but you, you seem more... Intelligent? Wow. Well, intelligent is as intelligent does. I'll be in my room. Josie, hurry up. We can still grab breakfast. I can't decide which one to wear. What do you think? Josie, they're both exactly the same. Same. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Are you okay? You've been acting really bizarre lately. No, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I can't decide which one to wear. What do you think? I'm telling you, there's something off about Josie. Haven't you noticed? Well, this morning she couldn't decide between her plaid skirt and her plaid skirt. Yesterday, by the time we left Z's class, she couldn't remember enough about your presentation to make notes on it. It's like her brain's getting sucked dry. Lucas, come on. Yeah, strange things happen around here, but her brain is getting sucked dry? <laughs> this isn't another one of your conspiracy theories, is it? Vaughn did something to her yesterday, before Z's class. I, I don't know what, but I saw it. Now he's holed up in his room working on something. What? I don't know, but ever since last night, that's been happening all over the school. It's coming from upstairs. I'm telling you, Vaughn is up to something. Come on. What is going on? Okay, guys, let's try it again. One, two, one, two, three, go! Oh, oh, oh. Dude, that was awesome. Are you okay? What happened? Come on. Look. Anymore? That's a cold fusion reactor. You built my cold fusion reactor. Wait a minute. You built my cold fusion reactor? Now, now, Corinne, the concept of the cold fusion reactor is hardly yours. You stole my plans. Well, if it's any consolation, your plans were fundamentally flawed. I had to compensate for some pretty shoddy computations, I must say. You're a jerk, Vaughn, you know that? What do you mean you got him the supplies? How was I to know that he needed palladium wire and oxygenated water to create a hypothetical power source? Vaughn's cold fusion reactor is no hypothetical power source. It's a monster. And don't ask me how, but I think somehow Vaughn's new ability with fusionable materials and Josie's mental decline are connected. Mental decline? How long did you say she's been like this? Since yesterday. She's getting worse. So what happened yesterday? You mean before or after Vaughn built a working cold fusion reactor? Did you just say Vaughn built a cold fusion reactor? He's been testing it all morning. I have no idea what he's up to with it. That would explain what happened to my electrical razor. You know, Vaughn doesn't strike me as a cold fusion reactor building type. He's not. Smart enough? That's what makes no sense about this. Josie started losing it at the same time that Vaughn started building the reactor. What if the reactor is getting a little boost from an outside source? 
Josie. The human brain is electrical in nature. As crazy as it may sound, Josie's brain power may be helping to power the reactor. There's only one way to find out for sure. We got to trash it. Be careful with that. Take it to my lab immediately. Thank you, Vaughn. I've never been more proud of you than I am at this moment. Back in business. Come to the house tonight for dinner, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be there, Dad. We're too late. Vaughn's given the reactor to his father. What now? I can't destroy the reactor. Josie's getting worse. Don't you get that, Vaughn? How do we know her problem's connected to the reactor? Well, her problem started around the time you built it. And somehow since then, I've gotten smarter. I don't think the reactor's doing that, Lucas. No. I think when you and Josie were arguing before science class made her the way she is. <laughs> what did you do to her? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I think I liked you better less smart. Thanks a lot, Corinne. Less smart? Hi, I'm Josie. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. I'm Vaughn. Right. Vaughn. Right. Well? Look, I just can't do it. Fine. Come on, guys. Well, it was nice meeting you. Uh... Vaughn. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> Corinne, take care of Josie. Where are you going? Where are we going? Josie's abilities are diminishing rapidly, Vaughn. Any further, she could suffer permanent damage. I can't just destroy the reactor. My father needs it. Look, something happened the other night. I can't tell you what, but I've never seen my father so broken. It was like his life was over. And then I built the reactor and he came out of it. Do you know what that's like? Doing something for your father that no one else can do. No. I can't even imagine. But it sounds wonderful. But then again, it's a feeling you didn't earn. Those plans didn't belong to you. Neither does what's being taken from Josie. And when you take something that's not yours, no matter what you do with it, you create something that doesn't deserve to last. It's hardly wonderful at all. Sure, this is the right room. Vaughn told me his father had a lab in the basement. This has got to be it. <laughs> How can you be sure? Okay. How can we destroy this thing? <sighs> Two different ideas come to mind. One, we can slowly and carefully dismantle each component. That could take days. Josie doesn't have the time. It's the second idea. You wearing rubber-soled shoes? Good, stand back. Who are you? Security lock. In effect. Josie, how you doing? I'm tired. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We gotta get out of here. Someone's coming. 
gotta get out of here now. It's too late. Bullen. What did you do? Oh, we had to. To save Josie. Save Josie. How could I not have understood that? You guys gotta get out of here. Quickly! Go! Vaughn. What happened? Uh, the reactor, Dad. I think it was hurting Josie. The stronger it got, the weaker she became. I saw it. Wake up, Vaughn. Josie knew we needed a new power source. That's why her mother enrolled her in Blake Holsey. You know, everything happens for a reason, Vaughn. Everything. Now I want you to fix this. I can't. Can't? Or won't? Won't. Not if it means hurting Josie. Loyalty. Very admirable, Vaughn. But always a gamble. How's Josie? She's not getting better. It's like her brain doesn't even have enough energy to keep her awake. That energy didn't just disappear. It went somewhere. Didn't it, Vaughn? So it isn't the reactor after all. Then, then what was it? It's me. When I touched her in the hallway, I must have caused a transfer of energy. Like between water molecules and a cold fusion reaction. She released the potential energy within you. It's more like I pulled the energy from her. Like the reactor pulled energy from the water. The smarter I became, the weaker she became. So how do we reverse it, Vaughn? Did someone just kiss me? It may have been me. Vaughn, are you okay? Uh, good news. I, uh, I think you guys can like me again. I'm not smart anymore. How much longer are you going to stay mad at Vaughn? I haven't decided yet. Why should she forgive him? I mean, if Vaughn got his way, there's no telling where Josie would be right now. Well, that's not really true. He did figure out how to get Josie back. Here he comes. Corinne? Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry about taking your idea to the next level without talking to you about it first. It's just trying to help out my father. I hear what you're saying, Vaughn. I'm just not sure that I believe that it can happen again. I know how hard it is for you to go up against your dad. Look, I don't expect you guys to forgive me right away. But I really am sorry. I didn't realize I was getting smarter at Joseph's expense until it was too late. Oh, and uh, this is yours. Lucas, I know we're still mad at him, but he's not his father. Not yet, anyway.
can have this back now, Victor. Take better care of it this time. Remember, you have it for a reason. I suppose I'll be seeing you again for a while. You never know.